Hi guys, bit of a different one today. Um, it's almost bath time for little M who's sitting over there eating a yogurt. I was just moving some bags around um, and was about to, well basically I'm reorganizing them. But I'm also trying to decide uh, which ones I might move on. And so I thought this collection as it is right now might not be for much longer. So I'll show you quickly. So they're all sort of in a tumble right here. Um, not all stuffed because as I said, I was moving them around and trying to be a bit creative with how I store them and stuff. But I thought um, before I end up packing them away properly, um, I'll, I'll show you quickly um, my collection in full and what my thoughts are on various ones. So no in-depth reviews, just a very quick one. So um, completely random, I'm going to grab them as they come to me and uh, just tell you a little bit about them. What is this? Alright, okay. So this is was one of my first ones. Um, um, it's probably the nicest smelling mulberry I have. It's a base water, um, normal sized base water in a uh, printed uh, natural veg tan or NVT, printed NVT, or you can also call it PVT in oak. Um, those of you who've seen my um, bags, my mulberry bags, know I like oak. It's just a, a lovely tone. I love how it ages. I love how it patinas. Um, and this is a gorgeous bag. Not used to an awful lot at all. I think I used it for like a couple of interviews. Um, and whilst I love the look, um, I always found, it, I, I, or I always thought that I'm not sure whether base water works for me. It's just really cumbersome and um, and feels really, yeah, I don't know, just not very practical with the reasonably short straps there and everything. So. But I've recently bought some base borders which are softer and I found them much easier to use. So I'm thinking it's a combination of the size, the length of the strap and the fact that she's really quite structured. So I'm seriously considering moving her on. Every time I take her out of her... You okay? Every time I take her out of her dust bag and I smell her and I think, oh no, 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 I couldn't possibly let her go. So um, she's still here um, and I'm still pondering on it. But she might well go. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, don't know. But lovely bag, isn't she? I'm already rambling. There you go. And there's a very, um, an example of one of the softer base waters I have, which is in, I don't know what, what kind of green. It's like a cabbage green. It's very similar to my small Alexa, but it's a different leather. It's called, I think it's called Sparkle Tweed um, leather. And it is a le leather, but it's um, basically been embossed or printed in in the sort of structure that almost makes it look fabric like uh, and it has a bit of a sheen or a sparkle to it um i absolutely love it really puts me in a good mood been using it at the moment the only thing that's a little bit of putting is it's quite a delicate material so after a while you might get some wear which is completely normal which um i believe it says on all of the care cards that it's characteristic of the leather um but yeah, so I guess it depends on whether that bothers you or not. It doesn't really bother me. It's just one of those things. If you buy it like as an investment piece and you want to move it on, it's, um, you know, it might not be as easy to do so as one of the more classic leathers. But this one I've been using and this one um, works absolutely fine, even on a packed train because it's really soft and it kind of just like smooches against me, works really well. So there you go. I thought base waters wouldn't work for me. Yes, they do. My, I think, cabbage green sparkle tweed leather base water. What's next? What have we got in here? Completely random order. Um, oh, this is another base water. Um, this is a base water in oak, NVT. So, um, same, just pop it on the side, just put it there. He's just finished his yogurt. Just put it next to you on the sofa. Or you can put it there and get your sweeties if you're nice and quiet. Sorry. Just pick it up. I'll sort it out later. That's fine. I will sort it out in a bit. Thank you very much. Apologies. Um, this is a base water as well. And it's um, natural veg tan in oak. But it's not printed. So... Much softer, yeah. Doesn't have that big boxy. So essentially, it's the same leather, but this leather has been embossed, and because of that process, it's a lot more structured. I don't think they do anything else to it. 
I can't say it looks any thicker or anything. It must really just be, oops, the fact that they print this one, which gives it more structure, makes it more um, um, hardy and, 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 and structured. I'm trying to think of a different word for structured, but I can't think of it. I keep thinking of German words, so there. Where we got next? <laughs> okay, this is the last one of my base watches, I promise. Now, I had the printed base water for years and years and years, and obviously uh, it just doesn't work for me, uh, although I, I love her. Um, and this one basically cropped up. This one was the one I had before the green and before the other oak. And uh, this one was the one that was the revelation that made me realise, hang on a second, if it's a soft leather then it does work um, and I started using her and I straight away loved her so this is a I think it's a crinkle or crinkle patent in black which kind of makes it look a little bit rock and roll I've got a colleague who absolutely um, loves this and has been begging me to give it to her <laughs> but um, yeah it's just different isn't it so um, she does wear after a while and it basically turns into like a suede kind of thing that crinkle stuff just comes off but I really rather like that um, sort of lived in slightly rock and roll feel. There we go. Last of the base waters, I promise. Let's pop this one. So not in chronological order at all because this one is my latest acquisition. Um, after years of thinking I can't do open totes I've been looking at the maple for rather a while and um, really liked the look of it. And then um, I was using a, a really cheap open top, which was very similar to that, sort of two handles at the top, shorter and stiffer than that, and one strap that goes across with this one has two. And I really enjoyed it, and I was so surprised that it didn't bother me that it's an open bag and all of that. And um, basically this one went into the sale, and I sold another couple of my bags, and I thought, I'll just go for it. Um, and I was using her up until, like, for a few days last week, and absolutely loved it. Basically works really well for me, So, but I will do a full review soon. The only reason why I moved out of her is because I'm trying to decide which ones to move on. So I'm just trying to use them all and then decide essentially. But this is the maple in, I think it's called burgundy with um, like a purple pouch on the front. But I think the original, the, the official colour is called burgundy. I'll pop it over there. What have we got? Green. Um, the one that probably stands out in all of my pictures is my little cabbage green Alexa, um, mini Alexa, because um, she stayed when lots of other bags have come and gone and she stays because I always use her when I go to Germany on holiday because she, I just literally, I take, she's not stuffed when I store her, she's so soft and smudgy, she just sits on top of everything, she's really light. Um, she's been quite worn, um, already was when I bought her, so I don't think I would get that much money for her. But more importantly, I do use an awful lot. She's such a good size for when I'm on holiday and I'm just nipping out and I don't have to carry around any kiddie stuff. There's just like purse, phone, tissues, keys, that kind of thing. Perfect. Love her. Um, some space. Oh, there's a few stacked inside each other. When I was moving things around, I was trying to save some space. So let's let's go from the inside out. Kind of like the Russian dolls. Right. On the very inside we have... Whoop, and now you will see probably a lot of oak appearing. We've got my little, not little actually, it's a regular lily. See, and that one is properly stuffed. It has a little low, low um, pilo in there. So she's nicely stuffed. Um, my regular Lily, unfortunately, um, don't use her that often because I find her a little bit small for everyday use. But um, sort of for going out or um, even for scenarios like what I just described for here would be a really good bag. It's just that my purse tends to be quite fat, so the, the mini Alexa can accommodate that just a little bit easier than she does. But what I love is you can wear like sort of a, a classic shoulder bag and then you can 
I'm short enough to wear her crossbody, just about. Um, and just really classic, printed oak, um, NBT, lovely, isn't it? Over there, where was she in? She was inside my mini Bayswater or Ledbury, and there's a strap in there, which you wouldn't normally have with a Ledbury. This is a strap from an Alexa, um, and that's why it's nice matchy. It's printed um, oak as well, printed NVT. And this is the famous Ledbury that I converted. Sorry, I should actually show it to you, shouldn't I? Um, which I attached the um, hooks to, or eye eyelets, whatever these things do. Clamps, clamps, they're clamps. You basically just put an over and you, you squeeze. So have a look at my blog if you want to, my blog post if you want to see how I did that. Very straightforward and they're quite cheap, they're about two quid or something. Um, and that way essentially you can turn a Leadbury into a small base water satchel, which uh, is brilliant. I haven't used her for an awful long time um, because I've just gotten used to using slightly bigger bags, but definitely one I need to use um, in the next couple of weeks and decide what I'm going to do. But I doubt I will ever move her on because I'm very fond of this one and um, yeah. Also, a fair bit worn, probably, so, I mean, everything is absolutely fine, but, um, yeah, I don't know whether I would get enough for her to warrant the moving on, if you see what I mean. What's next? Um, this one is a small base water buckle, also an oak NBT. Um, and this one was a real surprise. Um, I saw this one, absolutely fell in love with the looks, kind of hesitated and then thought, oh no, so that I'll go for it because I just sold another one. So I thought, oh. Um, and I kind of half expected to be using her and then like not getting on and moving her on in the end. And um, I didn't have to at all. It just completely worked. The whole kind of carrying her like this and not having a strap that I can wear over my shoulder totally surprised worked for me um, it's actually quite a soft bag which I was a bit surprised about or rather I knew they're generally soft but not that she's that soft she's very very soft um, she just has a love Lolo liner in there so stands um, a little bit more proud because of that but yeah really good size just lighter and smaller than the base water um, but yeah so you can't fit in A4 but other than that perfect size for my daily sort of work commute type thing. Pop this away. Let's go over here. <clears throat> Where are we getting there? All right, my Cara. Another oak one. Um, oak Cara and I think there might be a special little strap in there. Yeah, I've got a little guitar strap in there because uh, Monday, Tuesday this week, I used her. Again, same reason to try out. Um, still really like her, but the thing is, I never use her um, as a rucksack, ever. Um, partially because I'm not a big rucksack wearer, partially because um, I'm a little bit, I'd rather have an open tote that I can squeeze underneath my arm and have a bag that I would wear on my back and wouldn't see. And I know you can get, uh, you have the, little strap that you can put around there which would make it more difficult to open it but I don't know yeah it's just a bit odd so and she's not really designed to be carried um, with a long long strap like that so I'm currently sort of a bit on the fence about her whether she will go or whether she will stay I absolutely love her but um, if I have to make a choice I'll have to make a choice somewhere right right what are we going here oh this one was one Bought her last year in the winter sale, so January 2016, and then she was sat in the wardrobe forever because sort of winter went and then she felt rather wintry in terms of, you know, dark leather and all of that. Um, and then I kind of thought, oh, I'm not sure I'm going to use her, shall I better sell her? And then I just sort of hesitantly used her because... She was brand new and once you obviously take the plastic off and everything, um, they use a fair bit of value. But I thought so did. And then I absolutely loved her. The This bit, which I thought might prove fiddly, ended up not being fiddly at all because you've got the long strap. So I could wear her crossbody and completely have both hands free to deal with the strap. And also I don't tend to put in 
um, the little thorn I just thread her through like that and that'll do and the size is really good and the fact that she's fairly boxy um, and I've got I remember whether I had this custom made or that might be no I think this is actually my Alexa liner and you can see a little Lolo Pilo in there as well um, this is actually my Alexa liner in there which fits perfectly so really nice to organize all my stuff um, and yeah, well, I was pretty surprised by how well this one worked for me. Now, I know straight away which one this is because it's tiny and it's in a vintage bag. It's my little um, Kelly. Um, it's the mini mini Kelly. Really doesn't hold much. Um, I don't think I've ever used her, but they are so incredibly rare. I've never seen another one in this size. Also comes with a long strap, uh, which means if I ever need um, a little sort of going out bag in the evening, then this, you know, rather than buying a mini lily, I'd rather have this. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I could ever replace her if I moved her on. And therefore, I think she's going to have to stay put, but how cute, I mean, how cute is this bag? Yeah, completely, imp not impractical, but, well, unless you carry about, you know, a purse of this size or whatever, but it's not really an everyday bag, is it? But so cute and pretty. Let's just pop, go for this one over there. It's heavy, because not only is she heavy, she also has something inside. So there's my Roxanne. And heavy, yes, gorgeous, thick Darwin leather, but they are just quite heavy, which is why I don't use it often enough. And she's definitely, again, one I have to use next week and then just make a decision. The other reason why she's heavy is because she is carrying something inside, probably, um, which is my rosemary which is basically uh, a very very similar bag or the same design and just a size down um i've used her a fair few times now she doesn't come with a, no roxanne doesn't come with a long strap at all um so she's really just designed to be carried by these but she's got these so that's why i got one of those guitar strap thingies and that works actually quite well but she's still quite heavy especially once she's full this one comes with a sort of a shorter shoulder strap that attaches to that but you can remove it um, and then I can use the guitar strap with that and wear a crossbody and that actually works really well so I've used her a fair few times um, capacity wise I'm, I'm sure I've done a review so have a look at that if you're interested but fits enough not probably not enough for my office sort of commute stuff but fits well enough if i'm nipping out to the shops you know like your purse your keys your stuff and then there's still some space in there for shopping bags and a few bits and bobs if you pick up something um i had her completely reinked um so at mulberry um so yeah she's looking good i mean lots of patina obviously because of the age but yeah i'm rather fond of her couple over there but poor little, no, oh, I can't do that. There you go. There we go. Um, here we've got another vintage one, very vintage one, which is a regular size or maybe medium or small. I don't know because I've seen bigger one and then a bigger one again. Um, Kelly, um, yes, smooth leather, so it's not quite as pretty. I think it's the small one. I can't even remember whether this one comes with a long strap. Yes, it does. Um, again, not really used an awful lot at all, but would be very, very hard to replace. Um, so I don't think I can move her on. What do you think? Lovely, isn't she? It's very ladylike, so I, I don't really do overly ladylike, but I'm thinking, yeah, but, I, you know, one day I will be maybe doing more ladylike and then I can't get her back. So I think she'll have to stay. Pop her back on there. Almost done. We're almost done. You almost got it. Only 20 minutes into this. Jeez. Right. Ooh. 
almost forgot about her. She came back recently from uh, like a half year visit at Morbury because she's been completely repiped and I think they've done a brilliant job. The leather is completely matched. Honestly, you couldn't tell. Um, I haven't had the postman's lock replaced because no, the screensaver just came on <laughs> because I know it's marked, but I don't mind that. She's, you know, she was my first um, full price, bought her at the a shop, um, Mulberry, um, from a bonus that I received back then. And it was a big deal going in there and forking out that one twenty four back, even though back then they were obviously a lot less than they are now. But, um, yeah, I, I remember debating forever whether I should get her or not and then buying her and yeah so I, and I love her and she's really practical and the leather just aged beautiful the only thing was that one of the piping had gone so I had them both replaced I think it was like 85 pound plus VAT um and the sales assistant in Manchester spinning field really cute she was like it's my favorite repair I thought that's really nice favorite repair I'll pop it over there and um, see we're through. This should be the last one. This is my mini Cara in Oxblood. Um, NVT, love NVT, and I've never had an Oxblood bag until this one. Look at this. It's gorgeous. This is just like, yeah, the, the, the most gorgeous all year round tone. Not used to her yet. Shh. Um, can't see her moving on. Even if I, if I was talking about not being a big backpack fan, this little sort of back warm cross cross body I think um yeah just will work really really well such a good size kind of a bit bigger than the um mini Alexa or rather in in terms of what it can hold these are surprisingly roomy so this one will hold more um maybe similar to a Ledbury I can't really remember I haven't packed her properly for a while um I did when I when I got her just to check out um but I haven't done a review on this I did one on a quilted blue one so if you're interested to see you can watch that anyway I know there was lots of rambling um but that's it that's all my bags am I justifying uh, keeping them all probably um but I, I I will have to move one or two on because yeah it's just getting a little bit silly isn't it so right can I just show you there they all are it's way too dark for you to see okay so on that note um, I have to thank little one over there for being so nice and quiet. But you, thank you for watching and hope you found this interesting. Bye bye.